If you have trouble understanding Inception, I've got an easy way for you to follow. Pay attention! Hey everybody, welcome back to Sticky Floor Friday, the internet movie show that just found out they're remaking Total Recall with director Len Wiseman. And you know, I've only got one thing to say about that. Inception proven that people will go see an original idea if it's done well? Oh well. What are you gonna do? Back to the remakes, right? Dinner for Schmucks, that's a remake. Remake of a French film that was based on a play uh, about people who play a game where they see who can bring the biggest schmuck to dinner. Now, this movie does have some things going for it. Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, always a good team up, uh, supporting by Jason Sudeikis, Jermaine Clement, Zach Galifianakis doing wacky things. That's all good. But the movie has been in development for years. It's been a really rough road getting here. Uh, it was hit by the writer's strike. At one point it had Sasha Baron Cohen attached in the Steve Carell role, but then he dropped out. And, you know, it's kind of a miracle that this movie exists. Not that it's like an unfilmable, you know, masterpiece like The Watchmen. Um, it's just a simple, straight-up comedy. But funny concept with people I like... And we haven't had a comedy in almost over two months, which is crazy. Get Him to the Greek was the last really good comedy we had. So if you're starving for comedy, matinee recommendation. Next up is Charlie St. Cloud, a movie in which Zac Efron uses the memory of his dead brother to win a sailing race. So I guess the big question of this movie is, will audiences love of Zac Efron's eyebrows overcome their hatred of dead brothers and sailing races? Probably not. Finally, we've got Cats and Dogs, The Revenge of <laughs> uh, Kitty Galore. Really? Kitty Galore? And if there's something you need to know about me, it's that I would rather nestle up with a shotgun stuck in my mouth hole than watch a movie with talking animals. And let's talk about that subtitle for a second. Kitty Galore. A thinly veiled reference to a Bond girl, Pussy Galore, which is one of the least subtle double entendres they've ever had. Pussy Galore. Kitty Galore. This is a kid's movie. And right in the title, they have a reference to vaginas for children. You know what? That's actually kind of awesome. You know what? I'm, I'm changing my mind about this Cats and Dogs. I kind of like it. Corrupting children. Nice. Okay, let's recap. See dinner for lunchtime. Support for Efron means support for dead children. <laughs> uh, and kids love pussy. Cats. You know, I have an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger right before his eyes pop out of his head uh, when he's on Mars in Total Recall. I don't do it for a lot of people. I'm going to do it for you guys right here.